Why do executives age and what can they do about it? This is part of a series of my anti-aging series. Today I'm going to be talking about your top three priorities. Priorities are the things that you pick that are most important to you. They are often tasks. They are often uh, relationships. They are often things that, well, yeah, just generally are very important to you. But what are the three top priorities that you should be looking at in general? Well, I learned about these myself when I was, oh, uh, an engineer in my 30s. And, and I guess I was practicing these things already. I just had no idea that I was doing them until someone put them into words, what I was doing at the time. He was uh, a young guy, and he told me what his priorities were. He told me that they are in this order. Number one is his health, number two is his family, and number three is his work. So I thought, wow, this is really interesting. Because I definitely took time out every single week, you know, three or four times a week, to either be running or walking outdoors. Because being outside, being healthy, being fit was very important to me and therefore a very important priority to me. Now when he said that family was number two and work was number three, he explained it this way. You see, if you don't take care of yourself, then you're not going to be able to take care of number two and number three. And yeah, he was definitely right about that. Because if you're sick, and if you're really in a bad way sick, then what happens to your family? and the job that you have. There's already plenty of examples. Well, in the past, it used to be just men who would give their lives away to the company that they work for. I guess that the company that I was with, it did happen to one fellow. He was uh, management level. And one day he just uh, keeled over and died of a heart attack. Now I'm not really sure how older people felt about it at the time, but for the people who were in their 20s, who were younger than me, it actually made them stop and think about what that meant. Because this is a guy who had moved to several places in the country for the place that he worked. He, he was a lifer. He had worked for this company all his life. And in the end, after he died, there was a memorial service. Everybody at the company had to have a minute of silence for him. And then that was it. And so my younger colleagues really started to put things into perspective for themselves because he hadn't taken care of himself and now he had left behind a family, his wife, his children, some of whom hadn't left school yet, hadn't left home, and of course he left a vacant spot of his job. Well, to be honest, the job can be filled. For your family, that's a different matter. Nobody is going to fill those shoes ever again. Nobody's going to sit in that chair, line that side of the bed. No one's ever going to be just like you. So that's why it's really important to look at your life and really take a good look at what your priorities are. Because are you fitting in yourself in all those other priorities? For many executives, it's pretty clear that their jobs are number one in that list. 
for many executives. Uh, yeah, I realize that some of you are going out there and you're working out. So where's your families? In there too. So in order to reach a balance, it's really important to be really conscious of where you really are. So think about this message that I just gave you today. So, the top three priorities. Number one, your health. Number two, your family. Number three, your job. Until next time, this is Dr. Joni of the Anti-Aging Series. Bye.